Hey everybody, welcome back to Spelunky Custom Levels. My name is Bear. Today we are playing a level designed by Lucica off of the Spelunky Levels subreddit. This one is called the Shopkeeper Fortress, which in and of itself sounds horrifying, but I'm game to give it a shot. Also, you have to forgive me here. I am fighting off a cold right now, so I probably sound a little stuffy. I apologize for that. But this one is available. I'll include the link, of course, down in the description so you guys can go check this one out for yourselves if you want to. And, of course, upvote the submission on the subreddit. Go subscribe to the subreddit as well and get things going. Get that community built up and hopefully we can find a bunch more levels just like these. Again, I haven't played this yet. I've seen the, uh, the brief overlay uh, preview on the level editor itself for the first stage. I hear that this is five stages long, including the Olmec fight. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is by Lucica. This is the Shopkeeper's Fortress. And right away, I, uh, I'm wondering whether or not that rock was put there by design. I feel like I might have actually given myself a significant disadvantage just having jumped down like that. That's the kind of thing that you kind of have to take into account now, is the fact that it's very likely that every element of the stages is planned out intricately. It's, it's uh, becoming more common for folks to kind of, uh, you know, lay out every single little bit of what you need right away. So that rock could potentially uh, come back to bite me, but then again, it's, it's likely that I'll be able to find something else to counteract it. So we've got a few pushable blocks here. There's a little chasm down here as well. Ooh, wait, hold on, did you see that? There's a, there's a royal, oh, there's a royal jelly behind, like a, a booby trap of sorts behind there. So I guess that might be why I needed the rock. Although there is an arrow here as well. Oh, he's not gonna go down there. There's an arrow here, so maybe this is the... <laughs> this is the secondary option. Oh god, I hit myself with a lamp. Secondary option in case you leave the rock behind, but we did grab some royal jelly for some extra health, so that's nice. Alright, I don't know for sure. Okay, so it looks like that chasm might not be the best idea. Maybe I need to like... Hold on, we'll try this. Oh, nope. <laughs> well, I <laughs> killed the scorpion. That's effective enough, I guess, right? We'll just knock these guys in here. I can't imagine we'll actually... Oh, hold on a second. I was gonna say I can't imagine we actually have to use the enemies for something to progress, but... Speaking of using something, I'm not gonna be able to make this jump off of one... Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. I get it. I like this. I like this. This is fun. So what we gotta do, this is a bit of a puzzle here, so we're gonna have to knock this down too to make way for this. We have to push this one from the top all the way down through that chasm in order to, in order to uh, progress over that little hill. Very good. I like that a lot. I wonder if I can make this drop now. Looks like it. Okay, so that was... that wasn't too bad. I certainly like the design though. It's quite interesting. Alright, these jumps aren't too tough. We'll go ahead and make our way down. Ooh, yeah, but we gotta definitely jump up on here. So, I think the bats are just kind of extra little difficulty measures. Nothing too tricky here though. Just some just some basic jumping. And we're good. We made it out. I'm wondering if I needed to take something with me. Oh, the ghost is already here. My goodness. Took a little bit longer than that than I thought I did. But nonetheless, we've progressed. On to one, two. Let's do it. Second stage of the shopkeeper's fortress in this. Hmm. Let's see. Doesn't look like there's going to be a way for me to go to the left. There's three scorpions over here. I'm going to try to keep them alive for now. Oh, that was... <laughs> Holy crap, that was shocking. Jiangxia didn't realize I had such hops. So it looks like that might be my only path. I think it's forcing me to go over to the right, so I guess we're going to go over this way. Not too much by way of uh, inherent threats over here. I should be, be able to easily come down this way. Let's try to take... Oh, those guys don't get hit by the arrow. That's... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I must have completely missed when I shot it through all three of their bodies in perfect unison. My bad. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it provides the climbing gloves, which changes up the game dramatically now. So this opens up a whole bunch of different ways to go. I'm gonna be able to make that grab now, of course, and we're gonna need to... I think those scorpions are probably just there for a little bit of extra challenge as well. Alright, I'm gonna grab this in the off chance that I need it here. And, uh, oh, indeed I did. Looks like I need to get the, uh, the boomerang out of here. Be careful there. There we are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe it wasn't necessary, but having this boomerang is definitely going to help here. Oh, God. You know what? This might be fun. Hang on. Let's try a different way of doing this. Oh, God. 
Oh, no. No, that was a bad plan. Bad. <laughs> oh, no. Bad plan. Don't do that. That's that's not the way to go about this. I, I've tried it so you don't have to. Oh, man. I am so nearly dead. Okay. Same level of threat. Oh, wow. This is... Hmm. Wait a minute. Can I make this jump? I hope so. Let's try. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Okay, so don't push that block down. Clearly you need that to make the jump over there. Alright, so that's not too bad. We'll get back to that area pretty quickly here. Unfortunately, don't have that royal jelly extra health anymore, but not totally necessary. Lots of enemies. I gotta be careful about that. I like the, uh... It basically amounts to a booby trap, I guess, over there on the other side with all those rats... or er, rats. Bats. Basically the same thing. Bats and spiders impeding your progress. Ooh, I nearly got away without damage there, but not a huge deal. I'm probably going to have to be a lot more mindful of my health now that I think about it. Let's grab this. I don't know if I necessarily need this arrow to get to the, get to the boomerang, but it certainly makes it a lot easier. So grab up like that. Oh, not what I wanted. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Same strategy, just need to hug the wall whenever we do that. Okay. I'm going to try to go uh, slower this time. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> can of course use the diagonal throw to clear out a lot of these guys. In fact, we might just do that here. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's very effective. Nice. Oh, but I lost it. I'll get it back soon. So I don't want... Oh, jeez. Well, shit. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want to push this down because I need to use it to make that jump. And we're going to die. Wow! <laughs> okay. We got out. We got out. We're good. Oh, man. We made it. We got another climbing glove. I guess that's there on the off chance that you don't grab the first one. Oh, there's an S here, too. Ooh. Oh, man. Can you imagine? I don't think this is possible. I'm trying to think of a way that we could make this happen. Can you, can you imagine if you had, like, a passcode that you hid among all the levels and you had to... Use that passcode somehow in the last stage to be able to progress. That would be incredible. Oh, uh-oh. All right, I guess that triggered our uh, our shopkeepers down there. I believe we have now entered the shopkeeper fortress, and we have plenty of bombs. 99 bombs. All right, that's going to be... Ooh, they are ready to go as soon as I open this up. All right. Shouldn't be too tough. With 99 bombs, this isn't going to be... The most difficult experience. We've already got one. He might die from that. Nice. Okay, careful now. There's obviously plenty of... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Well, they might take care of each other, honestly. Oh, my God. That's that's fun. Hang on. Let's do this. Give him a little bit of assistance. Holy crap. That's a lot of shopkeepers. Man. Here we go. That is the majority of the ones on this side. Oh, hang on. Oh, this isn't good. Tell you what, we're gonna go like that. Keep him here. Oh, nice. Got him with the, uh... Damage from the bomb itself. Little shotgun jump to get up this way. I don't know if there's any other shopkeepers down here. Ooh. I, I'm curious what these tinderboxes are gonna do. Let's try it out. Odd. Okay. Keep moving. Slow and steady. We're just going to toss a bunch down this way. I think some of these tiles are indestructible. I'm not sure, though. Oh, crap. Ooh, this is... See, even just one shopkeeper is enough to uh, ruin the run here, so we've got to be very careful about that. Oh, how am I going to take care of this guy? Let's try this. Ooh, not quite. All right, if we do that one more time, I think we'll get him, because we need to... Keep him down on this, uh, down on that plane. Alright, there we go. So yeah, those tiles are indestructible, that's interesting. Alright, well, we made it. I kinda wanna see what's up here. That's interesting. Alright, out we go. Nice, off to 1-4. Oh man, this is a fun one, I like this one a lot so far. And it gives us the items just in case again, it looks like right here. Just to make sure we still have them. Oh, well, <laughs> that might be why we need them. I'm guessing we're going to respawn here. 
Okay, yeah, so it makes sure that you have the items right at the start in case you die. That makes sense. Because uh, clearly you won't be able to actually progress through the level if you don't have these things. So, what we need to do here, I think, is do a shotgun jump like that. We'll probably have to... Actually, we can probably just do a regular jump. There we go. Oh, this is... Ooh, this is tricky. So what we gotta do, I think, is hang off of this... Oh, you know what? I should probably shoot the snail. Man! This is well designed right here. I like this a lot. <laughs> My incompetence is no sign of the poor level design. In fact, it's uh, quite the opposite. This is... This is terrific. Right, let's start with that again, and then I'd like to be able to shoot the snail and not fall off the elevator, if that's okay. There we go. So he's taken care of. I'll be able to hopefully shotgun jump across this little gap here. There we go. I don't know if I even needed to shotgun jump, honestly, but of course it's a lot safer to do that. Oh god, okay. Oh! Similar situation. I don't know if I can... I might be able to just drop here, but that would be an unnecessary risk. We'll just play it by ear. Oh, I really don't want him to be there. I bet we can just jump over and crush him, though. There we go. Alright. Easy does it. I dig this a lot. <laughs> this is this is a really fun design. There goes that. And we'll take this guy out, too. Ooh, goodness. Okay. Probably some unnecessary gambles the way I'm doing things here. Wait for it. There we go. Oh! <laughs> fancy moves! Gotta love it. He's gone. Careful of being crushed. That's my primary concern for this particular stretch of land. Oh! 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 No! Oh! I was so close to it! Oh, this is gonna be the toughest one for sure. At least up to this point. I'm sure there's more difficult... Oh! Well, <laughs> I guess we're going to try this without a weapon. That was unfortunate. I guess you don't... Oh, alright, there we go. I guess you don't have to shotgun jump then. I wonder if you could do that without a shotgun. It's a possibility, maybe. You can see that he could have actually made this a little bit tougher because you don't really have to use the uh, shotgun jump to progress through here. That is interesting. Alright, we're not going to do the... Kiss of death jump down to the spikes there this time. I'm gonna keep moving. There we go. Excellent. Just making sure that these are all gone. I think I can make this jump. There we go. Nice. Alright. Making it back. Oh, wow! Oh, sorry about the gasps. Oh, crap. Well, that works. Again, we can take this guy out from over here, so that's probably the best idea. In fact, let's just go ahead and spray a few more this way. The off chance that there's threats elsewhere. Whoa, that was weird. I don't know why that happened. Okay, back to we're back to business here. I don't know if yep, there we go, hit him. Alright, so I think I need to Oh yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, he's gonna be a problem. Oh, no! No! Oh, God! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, no! So close! I couldn't have been closer. Alright, this is... No more... No more kitty stuff here, man. Time to make our move. We know what to do. We know how to do it. Let's make it happen. Can I bomb down there? Worth a shot, right? That'd be pretty cheesy, but... I suppose, yeah, those are indestructible, alright. That's weird, the the dirt itself is indestructible, but the... The hard, rigid stone, yeah, you can break right through that. Easy. Alright, easy way to go down here. There's a little bit of a porky pig moment, don't mind that. Good, okay. Wonderful. Making it through. Jump. We're not gonna die in the same damn spot right before the exit again. I'm gonna stay here for a second. There we go. Nice. Okay, they're both dead. That makes this so much easier. Excellent! Oh, God. That was tough. I'm glad we're through that. Into the jungle. Okay. 
Custom levels continue for the shopkeeper's fortress. Oh, damn. All right, providing us the spectacles, at least. That's a bonus. So we can make these jumps. Here we go. Ooh, there's the uh, force fields. That'll make things interesting. I probably didn't need to bring the torch with me, to be honest. I've got... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I've got the spectacles, so the spectacles provide the exact same utility as the torch. So we probably don't want to bring those with us. I guess the shotgun is there by design. Naturally. Since everything is calculated. Or you'd like to think so, at least. Oh! Ooh, nearly made that mistake again. The worm entrance is extremely convenient. I think I need to do that, and then we're gonna hang on here for a second. There we go. We might be able to just... Oh! Oh, man. That was really cutting it close. Alright, shotgun jump! Ooh, I can't believe I didn't get spiked there. Wow. Alright, so we have collapsing ledges here. I think I can grab this one, yep. And then, oh, you know what we had to do? You see it, don't you? Although this is kind of cheesy, isn't it? I don't know if I can even make this work. Nope, all right, I didn't deserve it. <laughs> that's uh, that's very tricky, though. You guys probably put it together what you have to do there to progress. See if we can do it this time. I'll explain it in the off chance that you didn't catch it, but what happens there is the breakable ledge drops down. And you need to, uh, you need to jump off of it at the last possible moment in order to hit the one on the other side of the wall. That is tricky. Yeah, man, that, that gives me a heart attack every time, too. Alright. So we're gonna wait. Oh! Nope. I think I misunderstood it. Okay, so there's... There's a different approach you have to take there. I wonder if maybe you just let it fall down. If you can just get through that way. That might be the case. We should try that. Okay, we're gonna hang out here. Should be able to get through all three. There we go. Nice. Getting a lot more comfortable with the, uh... Ah, that was a bad one. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with the force fields, but... That particular area, that... That's still a tricky jump. I think I got lucky the first couple times I did that one. That's gonna give me some... Ugh, that's gonna give me some trouble. But again, we should be able to get through this area without too much concern. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to jump through all three real quick here. Nope! <laughs> no, I cannot. I'm finding a whole bunch of different ways to die in this, that's for damn sure. Down we go. I'm gonna see if I can do this in one fell swoop here. Going down through the force field area. Because I know that we have we have this ledge. You can hang on right here. I think I'm gonna have to hang on again. I don't think I can make it through this. Uh, oh god, I didn't jump! Alright, alright. No more being silly. No more crazy risks. We gotta get down to where the level is actually giving me trouble as opposed to the places I've gotten through already. Nice and easy. Drop right down there. Perfect. Alright, now we can definitely make it across. Alright, good. This le or this jump again is still- okay, if we can grab right at the edge there, that will do the job. I'm gonna let this fall down on the off chance that it lets me survive, and that is not the case. I think I can make the jump as soon as it drops onto the spike, though, so I just gotta make sure I time it just right. It doesn't take too much to get back to there. I just gotta not do silly things. Have a little bit of patience. Exude a modicum of patience while we're going through here. Ooh, man. Those climbing gloves. Give me a heart attack. Alright. Ooh, I might need to be a little lower yet. I did. <laughs> God. Oh, Lord above. I'm gonna do this. This isn't even the Olmec fight yet, although this, I believe, is the final stage before it. <laughs> oh, pathetic. 
Oh, that one. That one I, I can't attribute to anything but my own stupidity. And poor spike placement. Jeez! Who designed this thing? Who's playing this thing? That's a better question. Oh my god! Wow! Speaking of that question... How do you justify that? Without claiming to be on a whole bunch of pain medication. Cold and nighttime flu is to blame for this catastrophe. Thanks, NyQuil. Or thanks, Bear, for taking NyQuil during the day. <laughs> it's all we had, man. Don't judge me. You'd take it, too. Oh, boy. Again, I can't believe I'm not dying when I do that. Alright, so. Here's the strategy. Oh, wow! I was on the spikes! I was on the spikes! I got to the bottom and then I jumped out of panic and I died. Alright, this is gonna be... This is gonna be tricky at the end here. I really enjoy... <laughs> God. I really do enjoy the way that it's designed at the end there, though, because the, the falling platforms, I think, are gonna provide a whole lot of, uh... A whole lot of variety in terms of not being something that you can just sit there and calculate. You gotta, you gotta act on your feet when you're dealing with... Falling ice bridge spikes of death. Okay, good. Back here. Good? Oh my god. Got it. Yes! Oh, alright. Excellent, now. Another area that does not allow for much forethought, and we got it! Holy crap! Oh man, that was probably simpler than I made it out to be, but still good. Alrighty, man. Oh no! Well, that's certainly a way to make Olmec a little bit more interesting, isn't it? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's real sad, I don't like that at all. Alright, well... We may not have to deal with them that much. And by may not, I mean almost certainly will. I'm gonna keep him over here. Let's see if we can clear out a little bit of this nonsense. <laughs> the blue frog bonanza. Here in the Olmec fight. What more could you ask for? Alright. This is a pretty basic Olmec fight here, so I think we should be able to do it without too much issue. Go like that. Alright, let's get started. Although the climbing gloves do make this slightly more difficult. I, I kind of wish I didn't have them, to be honest. Oh, God. But, should be okay. Alright. I did that again. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the king of doing that, but you know what? I'm going to give myself the victory. I'm going to give myself the victory and say... We got to the point where I know I screw things up more often than not, but that was that was fantastic. The Shopkeeper Castle. Again, I'll include all the links down to download that one in the description if you want to play it for yourself. Let me know if you uh, do end up playing this one. Let me know how much better you did than I on the, on the uh, challenge levels. But nonetheless, again, thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and feel free to suggest any other levels you guys have seen and submit your own level designs over on the Spelunky Levels subreddit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.